I'm joined by Matthew Warshower, a professor of history at Central Connecticut State University, PhD professor. We're talking about Students First, the proposed consolidation of community colleges. Uh, Matthew, why do you think there's a brain drain? Do you really think that the United Technologies move or the headquarters move and the merger really had to do with Connecticut or did it have to do with Boston's just a much better city than anywhere we have in Connecticut? Well, I mean, it's, it's both, but listen. Is it really both? I mean, and I say, that, I say that because they're still going to hire a thousand people in Pratt Whitney, and we don't have any city in Connecticut that will ever come even remotely close to Boston under any circumstances for about a thousand different reasons. And Raytheon's already there, so why yeah. wouldn't you just go there? Right. Is what I'm well, asking. But, but this is true. But I, I mean, I, I think you're doing sort of an either or. Uh, you know, concept okay, yeah. here. I, I think it's a little bit of both. I mean, look, are they going to save taxes in Boston? No, they're not going to save taxes. Are they going to have right. more problems with infrastructure Absolutely. and moving around? Absolutely. Yes, yeah. they are. So there, but there's they that have component. much better access to talent. Infinitely they have much better, access, better access, to access to talent. Why? Yeah. Because there are so many great colleges and universities in Massachusetts. And, you know, it, it is very, very true. Boston is the anchor for the state of Massachusetts. Yeah. And Connecticut does not have an anchor city. It is a big right. problem. And we need to work on that. But we also need to work on improving our state universities. We educate, you know, between the community colleges and, and the four state universities, not UConn. Yeah. We educate more students than any other college or university in this entire state. Of course. And yeah. we're raising the, the we're raising the boat for, for students who are it's you know their first time to come into college. Yep. And first generation students all first generation yeah. we are the economic engine in the economic future of this state. And if we don't get this right, if we don't get this right, we have big problems. And I have to say, just let me just go let ahead, me go, say this go, one go, thing. Go okay. This is now on Governor Lamont, all right? Governor Malloy is the one who put Marco Jakey in, in place yeah. and allowed all of this to occur. We have tried to reach out to Governor Lamont on multiple, multiple occasions. He has flatly ignored us. When this thing comes crashing down, and it will, it will, regardless of yeah. what we do, it's going to come crashing down. Oh, you say down. this thing, you mean students first I mean first students and first right? and this consolidation. Yeah. Governor Lamont owns it. If we already covered the fact that the state budget has basically slashed and burned yep. almost every major program in the state with a few... Limited, limited exceptions. How do you keep a college system, Eastern, Western, Central, and Southern sustainable, along with community colleges, without just jacking up tuition or jacking up taxes? Because if the state aid is going to keep going up to all those institutions, I got to pay for it, you got to pay for I it, understand. our staff here have to pay for it. So then how do you keep it sustainable if you don't try to come up with something to try to save money? You're absolutely right. We do have to come up with but something to save money. I, look, now. if I had a perfect answer to that, then I'd be the head of the system. I don't have a perfect yeah. answer, but I know a whole lot but, of people out there. But then you're not who just saying contribute. no to any solution. I'm not just saying, of course not. And this is the thing that I think that bothered me most when you interviewed Marco yeah. Jakian is is the idea was that we faculty are just complaining and that we just want to put our heads in the sand. We understand that there's a very functional fiscal problem there, and we are willing and ready to address it. But, uh, you know, and we need to address it. There's no question, yeah, sure. there's no question about it. But let's not do smoke and mirrors with this system, this, this uh, students first thing, because that's all it is. Five years from now, 10 years from now, what does the system look like? I don't know. It depends on uh, whether we can stop this juggernaut that is students first right now and sit down with people who really know this system and have a real conversation about real will numbers. Be, will there be more or fewer campuses, you think, across I, both the four years and the community colleges? I don't know. I can't answer that. I, I just can't answer that. It, it, yeah. it, it's guessing. Yeah. You know, uh, I know this. I know that these institutions are critical to Connecticut's yeah. economic future and critical to the lives of a lot of people. Yeah in this state and th therefore we got to get it right i'm not i've never yeah. said i don't have every answer yeah. but we got to get this right and the track that we're on right now is most definitely not right matthew warshower thank you so much for joining thanks, us thanks max i appreciate the time F face of facts with max reese is every sunday at 10 a.m on nbc connecticut thank you for joining us see you later